in this video you will learn how to differentiate parametric functions parametric function is made up of two separate functions having three or more parameters for example in these two separate functions this is one parameter another parameter and t is the common parameter seen in the both functions to find the y dx in such an example the t will need to cancel out let's find the dy dx of this function here we have two functions we are going to apply parametric differentiation when we obtain our result we are going to substitute for t is equal to pi over 3 to solve this problem let's consider the first function this is y and this is t hence we are going to find the y dt if you differentiate y with respect to t that is differentiating minus 2 cos t we are going to have minus here that is this minus but when you differentiate this you are going to generate minus 2 sine t this negative is from the differentiation of the cos remember from the basic derivative table when you differentiate cos x you're going to get minus sine x hence apart from this minus the second minus came from the derivative of differentiating cos our dy dt is 2 sin t we are done with the differentiation of this function next let's differentiate this function x is equal to sin t this is x and this is t hence we are going to have the x the t if you differentiate sin t you are going to get cos t which we have obtained from the basic derivative table next to find the y dx we're going to use the y dt to divide the x dt according to the law governing the derivative of parametric functions always remember that the result with the dy will always come first at the top always remember this from the formula this is going to divide this this is going to divide this the value of dy dt is 2 sin t and the value of the x dt is cos t which is this while this is 2 sin t next let's change the division to multiplication sign hence the t will move up while the x we flip down this happens to the right hand side whenever a division is changed to multiplication sign likewise i need to change this and this is divided by one hence it's going to flip we now have two sine t cos t as our answer next we're going to substitute t equal to pi over 3. Hence, in the place of t, I will now have pi over 3. 
here the t cancels the t and we are left with the y over the x before we continue let's recap pi in front of a trigonometric function is equal to 180 degrees then pi over 3 will be 180 divided by 3 which is equal to 60 degrees instead of pi over 3 i will input 60 degrees let's recap sin 60 is root 3 over 2 while cos 60 is 1 over 2 this 2 is multiplying hence this we take away this think carefully our dy dx is equal to 2 root 3 from the options our answer is d next we have two functions to find dy dx which is same as dxy to solve this problem let's consider the first function this is x and this is u hence we're going to have the x the u let's differentiate u squared we're going to have 2u next let's differentiate 1 we're going to have 0 since this is 0 i will let it out next this is y and this is u i will have the y du differentiate u to the power of 3 you're going to have 3 u squared next you will put this plus next differentiate u and you're going to get one next to find the y dx i will now divide the y du here is u this time around no longer t i will divide it with the x du here now will be u no longer t remember the one that have y at the top will always come first and this will always go under the division next i will use the y du which is this to divide the x du which is this and i will do same for their results next changing the division sign to multiplication will flip the right hand side likewise changing the division sign to multiplication will flip the two u down multiplying both together this is our dy dx from the options our answer is a Consider the parametric function question. X is equal to 3 cos theta. And Y is equal to 4 sine theta. The options do not have a function of sine theta nor cos theta. Before we start to differentiate, let's make cos theta the subject here and sine theta the subject in the next function next from this function we're going to make cos theta the subject and we're going to have that cos theta is x divided by 3 and we call this equation 1 likewise in the next function we are going to make sine theta the subject and we're going to have that sine theta is y divided by 4 and we call this equation 2 next 
we're going to differentiate both function separately next this is x and this is theta hence we're going to differentiate this as the x the theta and this is y this is theta we are going to differentiate this as dy d theta. Next, differentiate x with respect to theta. From the basic derivative table, when you differentiate cos x, you are going to get minus sin x. Likewise, when you differentiate cos theta, you are going to get minus sin theta. Hence, differentiating 3 cos theta, your answer will be minus 3 sin theta. Next, you differentiate y with respect to theta. From the basic derivative table, when you differentiate sin x, you are going to get cos x. Likewise, when you differentiate sin theta, you are going to get cos theta. Hence, when you differentiate 4 sin theta, you are going to get 4 cos theta. Next, we are going to find dy dx from both of the differentiated functions. Next, to find our dy dx, we are going to divide dy d theta by dx d theta. Instead of dt, here we're going to have the theta and instead of the t here we're going to have the theta this time around always remember that the parameter with the dy will always be at the numerator with that concept this we divide this which we have done here next because i divided the parent I will equally divide the child that is I will divide this as well next I will change the division sign to multiplication sign next when I change the division sign to multiplication sign it will flip the denominator to the numerator and flip the numerator to the denominator likewise i will change this division sign to multiplication sign and it's going to inverse this because this is divided by one but we usually let it out next we have dy over dx after the theta cancels out the theta next this minus you can equally bring it up here both are the same next from equation one and equation two we're going to replace cos theta and sine theta that is wherever i see i'm going to replace it with x divided by three and wherever I see sine theta, I will replace it with y divided by 4. Next, I'm going to replace cos theta with x divided by 3. Likewise, I will replace sine theta with y over 4, which was obtained from equation 1 and equation 2. Next, as this divide this we're going to change this division sign to multiplication sign and it will flip the parameters and our answer is minus 16x divide 9y from the options our answer is a next Let's consider this parametric function question. And we're going to find the dy dx. 
or dxy or y prime next this is x and this is t and we're going to have the x the t next differentiate 40 plus 1 differentiate 40 and you're going to get 4 next differentiate 1 and you're going to get 0 for the 0 i will let it out next this is y and this is t and we're going to have the y the t next differentiate t squared and you're going to get 2t next differentiate 2t and your answer is 2. next let's find dy dx from the differentiated functions to find dy dx we're going to divide dy dt by dx dt that is this will come at the top and it's going to divide this if this divide this this will also divide this next if you change division sign to multiplication sign it will flip the denominator to the numerator and the numerator to the denominator which we have here changing this division sign to multiplication sign we equally flip this to have this 1 over 4 this is now our dy dx dt will cancel out dt simplifying this further 2 here is 1 and 2 here is 2 and this is our dy dx from the options our answer is none of the above because our dy dx we obtained t plus 1 over 2. This is calculus. In the next video, we are going to consider higher order derivatives. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration, including their applications, including precalculus video topics. To locate all these videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.